Hello, let's make this cute gnome using things you probably have around the house. This mop head is from Dollar Tree. First you're gonna to need to unassemble it. So just take your time, you don't wanna get it too tangled. And then find that middle. You're gonna need something sturdy to pop off that bottom. I just grabbed my closest tool. and With a little bit of prying, it popped right off. Not an issue. Set it off to the side. First we have to prep the stocking. Before we start working on his beard, we want to remove that tag from the stocking. We're going to go ahead and use that later. So put it off to the side. Just be careful snipping it so you don't ruin the main stocking area. Now we move on to the beard assembly. Take each strand of the mop, fold it in half, and then hot glue it. I found the easiest way to do this is actually add a longer strip of hot glue, but not too long. You don't want it to cool and, and get hard and just build in small sections. This part will take a little bit of time, but it does not really take that long. And as you go around, you'll just keep building and building. Here it is sped up a little bit on the back side. Again, just little strips, keep going and going. I had enough strips to add a second row to the front facing part of his beard. Then I was pretty much done. Now we're gonna go ahead and shape his hat. We're going to tuck and tuck until we get the shape that we want. Take your time because you're going to seal this with hot glue. So you want to make it just perfect. Now we're going to add some hot glue. Just kind of go down that whole seam and then press to seal. The nice thing about the stocking, it has a nice curve. So you get a nice, beautiful curve and point to the hat with, with just a little bit of tucking and a little extra glue. There you go. Little glue goes a long way. I think I wore more glue than the stocking. Make sure you have plenty of glue sticks. Next is this cute little gnome nose. Make sure you use lots and lots of glue. You could absolutely add his nose after you've stuffed him. I just happened to do it before. So now we're getting ready to prep for the stuffing. I used a polyfill, but you could also use plastic bags. I used the multi-tool, which is a godsend for stuffing in that final little tip of the hat. Stuff, 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 and then take some more glue and seal up his hat. Next to the multi-tool, a lint roller is your friend. Attach the back loop that we saved from earlier. You gotta be able to hang him. Multi-tool to the rescue, no more burnt fingers. Now you can go embellishment crazy. I had a pick, a Christmas one, so it's kind of a winter gnome, but you can totally change the seasons as you see fit for something like this. You can do a Halloween, a Valentine's, any season whatsoever. So with this winter pick, I was able to create a beautiful hat embellishment for him. I started with the longer pieces at the back, then I went ahead and built it with some more greenery, and then added the berries and the pine cones. Now, this is a, gets a little bit heavy, so make sure you use plenty of glue and let it dry in between sections. The biggest thing is hot glue, hot glue, hot glue when it comes to those heavy, heavy pine cones. For the berries, add glue along the whole stem. And here you go, multi-tool to the rescue to poke into those areas to make sure it really sticks. Here's the last piece, one last berry. Cuteness overload. Don't forget to save and follow for future crafting ideas.